Hello, I'm Tim Weston and this is John Clark from the National Gamekeepers Organisation. Hopefully many of you saw the BBC Countryfile programme, the NGO were instrumental in, which was at the Riga Estate last Sunday. John and I just want to chat to you and to each other about what, how we thought the programme went and where we can go in the future with bodies like the BBC in showing the genuine benefits that shooting has to the economy, conservation and biodiversity. So John, you, you watched the programme Sunday like lots yep. of our members did. Um, what were your thoughts? I thought the programme was really positive. I think for the time scale of the, that the programme had that we were allotted, I think we got as much in there as what we possibly could. Yeah, there's been some people have said we, that there could have been some more features on conservation. The segment the NGO were involved in wasn't the entire programme, was it? No, no, definitely not. And we knew that from the off, and we always we only had um, you know a really small time to, to to sit into that programme. And people don't, uh, probably won't be aware that they were filming at Rig for three and a half days. So there's an awful lot of stuff that we got into there and Dave and his team got into that programme that ended up on the cutting room floor. And that's how filming works, unfortunately. You know, you can't get everything into, you know, a, a 20, 30 minute slot. Mm. It's just impossible. Even three years ago, when the NGO started their journey into making our own films on YouTube, I personally didn't think we would see three years later um, a full-time gamekeeper talking to a country file presenter about what they do and I, and I think that can be taken as a positive but what do you think are the next steps what could we what could we do going forward I think the main thing we've got off this is we've now got credibility with the BBC and you know the the door is firmly left open with them that they need anything any information on how shoots run gamekeeping conservation we're a really reasonable voice that can that can provide for them. From my point of view, and certainly then Joe's point of view, we've we've got a great access in there of being able to get in and put our case forward, which we've never had before. What was left on the cutting room floor? So what we wanted to get across was the social economic benefits that shooting puts into the rural community. We wanted to be able to show that you know young children being involved in shooting and beating is good for their health, their mental well-being. It's good for them to be interacting with different age groups. And Heather, the, the lady who was interviewed, you know, she said from the other way, it was really good for her to, to meet the younger people and it gets her out, it gets her in there with, um, it makes her mentally and physically younger. So that's a really great bit of information and how it's, it's good for the rural communities. We also wanted to get, following a pheasant, from a shoot day all the way through from processing into a hotel and cooking and show the benefits that game meat has as well. But it all can't be covered in one programme. So the door's open and we're going to get back in there and show the positives. There's certainly more work to be done in um, educating the general public on them. There's a huge spin-off conservation benefits that everybody knows about shooting but the general public don't. So there's more stuff like that we can you know, go to them and try and get something there with that. A hot topic that everyone's um, almost talking about is the predation, trapping and that kind of thing and why we have to do that and that's again is something that we need to be working on with the BBC to explain that. But that was filmed over the four days wasn't it? It, it just that wasn't the segment. It was, it was definitely filmed but it's just one of those things that unfortunately had to end up on the cutting room floor and there's nothing we can do about that and the way the BBC work we weren't given editorial rights or, or been able to comment into that, they do their own. And we, to be fair, we do the same with our films. We, we put out what we perceive to be the right way of doing it. As an organisation, we understood that when we were doing it. Overall, we're really happy with how the programme came out. And, and the one thing we've got to remember is that the BBC had to create what they perceive as a balanced magazine programme. It doesn't necessarily mean the NGO perceived it as balanced, but I think on the whole, it was positive. It got gamekeepers on primetime TV, launched game shooting into the public agenda, showing the positive aspects of socio-economical. We understand there's more work to do and the NGO are here working on that for you to get us our message out there. Shooting sports and gamekeeping has got a really good story to tell and what we did last Sunday was facilitate that telling of that good part, portion of the story.